Thank you, friends, for joining this session. And today's session is all about CAD, Computer Aided Design. I am going to share with you some very powerful concepts regarding CAD part, how to use the tools. And these tools, if you apply, you can start your career as a design engineer. So first we have to understand what is CAD. And this slide is mainly for freshers. CAD means computer aided design. Some mechanical engineers, they have some confusion. They think that AutoCAD means CAD. It is not true. Computer aided design means it helps the design activity. So this is a tool. One more confusion mechanical engineers they have. What they say, I know Katya means I am design engineer. That is not true. You are just user and anybody can use this tool. Design engineer is one step above this. That we have to understand. So history, if you understand how it started, earlier days in 1991, we were using machines, drafting machines for generating drawings. So there was a machine. Now you can see that machine in museum only. Whole day standing position, tracing paper, you have to put on that board. You have to use the pencil. You have to create the sketch. And then if you finalize the drawing, then there is a rotary ink pen available and you have to just again redraw it. So that tracing paper is a master drawing. And by using ammonia printing machine, we used to take the blueprint, right? So blueprint is again now becoming obsolete. Nowadays, Xerox we are using. So earlier days, blueprints were more popular. Then softwares came in after that, 1991-92, it started. Then other softwares came like uh, it was Idea Software earlier days. Then came Pro Engineer, then Katia and uh, Unigraphies. They were parallel, uh, we can say, uh, updates in the market. Then Proe became Creo. Nowadays, it is called as a Creo. So nowadays, CAD means it's a regular tool used for designing activity. So foundation of CAD. If you want to improve your CAD skills, the foundation is drawing. Engineering drawing is the language of engineers. And you have to achieve mastery on this. As a design engineer, we have to understand there are various levels of drawing or skill sets you have to achieve. And if you master this, your CAD modeling speed will be tremendous. Your decision making will be very, very fast. You can visualize the process also. So during 3D modeling itself, there should be parallel thinking of all these parameters. Means you are creating a 3D model, means design activity you are doing. So what you have to think? When you are designing a product, you have to visualize that product, that 3D part, that is the first level you have to achieve. When you are creating that model, you have to visualize how I am going to manufacture this component. When you are creating a 3D model, at the same time, you have to visualize what will be the assembly procedure, what will be the assembly sequence. At the same time, you have to understand what are the various problems customer may face because of this particular product. All these stages, we can say all these, uh, we can say ways you have to visualize. Right. So let us understand the next part. If you create such type of components, believe me, there is a scarcity in the market. Industry needs designers who can make such type of models. So let us understand the strategy. Modeling approach. When you receive any drawing or when you start this activity, sometimes you have to start from the scratch. That is conceptual design. Or sometimes you have to just make the model as per the drawing. So the first is feature-based modeling. There are mainly two types of features. One is projected feature, another is cavity feature. So boss is a projected feature, rib is a projected feature, pad is a projected feature. Cavity feature may be a hole, may be a slot, may be a groove. So feature-based modeling means there are some commands like extrude or revolve that you are using that is a feature based modeling. Then next is parametric modeling. So this is one important question generally asked during interview. You can note down 
what is the question what is parametric modeling so the answer is modeling done with the help of constraints is called as a parametric modeling and there are two types of constraints we are using one is dimensional constraint another is geometrical constraint and opposite to this is called as a explicit modeling explicit modeling means modeling done without constraint so you may ask the question why explicit modeling is required what is the use of explicit modeling so the use is when you are creating something only for one time that time you can use this explicit modeling getting my point parametric modeling means when you are using constraint that is a disciplined way of modeling and when you are going for interview this is one aspect people they will see whether your model is parametric or not so this is one example of parametric modeling there are many concepts in parametric modeling then top down approach top down approach is basically we are using in assembly so bottom up assembly and top down assembly these are two approaches but sometimes you have to go for top down approach especially in case of die molding or uh, fixture design that we have to understand then third is correct orientation and here i want to give you one tip how to set the correct orientation of the part when you start creating a model what are the various we can say steps you have to follow that i am going to give you when you receive any drawing so the first activity you have to read the drawing now you have to read the drawing means just locate all the views understand various sections and try to visualize 3d so how to start making a model so start with any feature so i have one example here i want to show you this is a component of a brick this is called as a tmc tandem master cylinder now when you receive this drawing how to start creating this model say for example this is a very simple feature i will start with this feature right now when you click on the isometric view you should get this type of orientation for example right now in any software there is one coordinate system okay say x axis y axis and z axis so this plane is called as a x y plane this is y z plane and this is z x plane now tell me suppose i have to start making this model so what i will do i will create this circle on a plane and then i will go for extrude command for example so can you type in the chat box which sketcher plane i have to select see this is the orientation so this axis is y and this axis is z so you have to select yz now this is one technique another technique just start with any plane take sketcher select any plane whether it is x y y z or z x and draw one vertical line one horizontal line and click on the isometric view now you will get this type of orientation just match that with your drawing if it is matching then go ahead with that sketcher if it is not matching come out of that sketcher mode select another plane then another plane so this will be a trial and error methodology but if you are confident if your visualization is good this trial and error is not required for you right so next part we'll understand that is feature identification okay so first we understood select how to select the right plane then feature identification means i told you you have to understand that feature whether it's a projected feature or cavity feature and now imagine which command you are going to use for that so selection of right command is the third important step then effective use of that very important and you must know all the types of datums how to create datum i will just explain you what are the various uh, options available in any software one type of option is that you can offset the plane right you can give some distance 
you can create angular plane so this is the object you can create 45 degree angle plane then another option is there the plane passing through two edges that is one option another is the plane passing through three points one more option is there you can create a datum plane perpendicular to the curve these are important options in datum and you must know all the options in datum plane so please note down all these important strategies so that once you follow this strategy your modeling will be next level modeling that is for sure okay so friends thank you for joining this session today i shared some important things with you go into the depth learn the things when you are going for the interview just go through all these points and it will be very helpful for you